Hey guys, Logi Sanchez, and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I want to show you guys one of the best in-game bases you can make, as it's going to cover pretty much all fronts. There is iron ore yeah, for ingots, and then there is also quartz, which you will need to make circuits and polymer and coal and everything. You can get everything right over here. The only thing that it doesn't have is sulfur, but for sulfur you need to be in the desert biome. So we will have another video coming up of a desert base pretty soon. This is a snow base. This is actually my main base. It's set up a lot more than what you actually need it to be. But this spot is really good. As you can see in the background there, we have quartz and we have iron ore. And that's all within the radius of our PAL box. But we have kind of like set up a giga base around this. The only downside to this base is obviously it is in the snowy place. So it's really cold and you have to be careful with having enough heaters. What I found while making my base here is the number of heaters doesn't do anything. And also it doesn't matter. See, like right now I'm cold because he's not igniting it. Come on, ignite it, bro. They like the pets sometimes take breaks and they glitch out. And then I have two heaters and I've got like four heating pets just to make sure that they're always heating. They're hopefully, okay, there we go. So you can see in the background there, the next pet started heating the next heater. And yeah, so just make sure you have at least two heaters. It's not going to change the radius or like the heat or anything. You only need one. But no, none of the pets work back to back. None of them work 24-7. So it's always good to have a backup. This is the biggest thing, especially in this cold base. And then I'll see you once we go make one in the desert biome. It's going to be just as important to have a cooler. Also, this doesn't really affect the radius. It's only going to be near your base, like near your base inside. As soon as you go too far away, like there, you see we're getting cold already. But then we go back up our stairs over here and we're getting affected by it again. So it's pretty much just covering the whole base. And as you can see, yeah, we have a gigabase. You don't need any of this stuff over here. Just keep this in mind. This is my main base because I really like the snowy area, even though it's annoying with the heaters. This is my main gigabase. The main reason you need to make a base over here or you want to make a base is for all of this. There's quartz over here. They spread all over this place. And then there's like two iron ore nodes in the back there. And that's all covered in there. I think that one. Okay, that looks like it's quartz as well. And that and that and that. But yeah, quartz, iron, we've got wood up top for our coal. So we pretty much got everything except sulfur. But let me show you guys where it is. Enough talking. So let's see over there. We are at 210, well, minus 210, 248. It's really close to this Uthwabi Lake or the pristine snow field. Right over there, I have it marked. It's right on top of this little hill over here. And another thing is you pretty much, you'll never get invaded because it's right on top of a hill. You physically cannot get invaded. Nobody can come up here just build yourself and then if you want to make yourself a base i put my power box right over here in the middle so that i can because right over here where i made this is actually a nice little flat piece of land so this is where i decided to make my house and then a pro tip is i actually made three story house but the stairs they like glitch out on the stairs because i made it like very short like right over here i put another uh roof so you couldn't actually the pals couldn't actually come in here because they're too big so what i ended up doing is I cut away this roof over there and made this open. This is just where they come and sleep and their little hotspot and whatever. So this is like the PAL restroom. And then in the bottom is just my room for immersion sake. You guys like my little bathroom I made? Pretty cool. Let me know what you think of this house. And if you guys want me to show you how I go about building these. I really like building bases. So I think I'm going to start making a lot of base building videos on the channel. If you guys like it, look at my little... We got a little bar over there with our Coca-Cola machine in the back. We got a clock there. And then we got a little desk area. Yeah, we got our little bed it's just you know cozy and then we've got a lot of toilet in the back there so you can freeze your ass off in the cold and in the corner yeah we've got like a little table and just like an old antique heater but anyway that is that and let me show you guys what's happening up top the main thing you need when you want a base like this you need the quartz and that so you need to get yourself pals with good mining the best pals to get for mining i would say is the tortoise these guys over here or dig toys because they only have mining they're level three mining can see they're idling right now and if you don't want them to actually mine this stone over here like they are right now all you gotta do is just take the stone away and then all they can do is go mine the quartz and the ore there at the bottom so if you want them to do that i don't really care because i have so much of it stockpiled now i've been doing this for a while so i just made this my main base and then it so happened that i had that and that as well but the main thing you need is to get yourself some food obviously you need to feed your pals so you want to get yourself either tomatoes or lettuce that is the best thing for them to eat. It's better than berries. It keeps their hunger a little bit longer. So you want to make sure you have your food. And then you have your... You want wood for your charcoal. Because you can get wood and you can actually make charcoal. I believe it was at the production assembly line. Go have a look. I forgot where it was. Uh, carbon fiber, coal, 
maybe it's at the grinder at somewhere you can make it one of these things over here i always forget maybe i think it might be that one over there yeah it might be this there it is over there charcoal from wood so it's at the furnace at the furnace you turn all your wood into charcoal and then you turn your charcoal into the next thing that you need and circuits and all that comes from quartz so you pretty much have everything covered as you see there carbon fiber you can make from charcoal circuit boards you make from quartz and then the polymer you make from high quality power well that's the only one you're gonna have to actually go out and farm yourself i don't know what's the best way to do that yet except for just killing all the boss monsters and the big guys also the big uh, tree dude he usually drops quite a lot this guy the memorist so if you find them out on the world make sure to take them down they usually drop a lot of high quality pearl oil but that's pretty much it you see we're cold again i have two heaters they're not working he's hungry that's one of my heater boys and then if you if they just don't want to heat and you're gonna die let you just go fast travel somewhere else until they decide to work also at night make sure you sleep because if you're in the space there some one of them started heating again if you are yeah at night you definitely want to sleep as soon as it's nighttime because obviously they all go sleep as well so then they won't be powering your heaters so make sure you got a heater make sure you got an electric source powering the heater and then you build however you want i'm also going to be making another video soon showing how i actually make all these crazy stair foundations because you see there's foundation stairs we've got stairs another foundation stairs another foundation so this is really good also while we are talking about that if you want your pals to go to like a place like that make sure that they just have a straight staircase going up instead of like the twirly one that i had inside because they bug out and they just don't want to go up but like so make sure you have a straight staircase heading straight up to where it is you might be wanting your pals to go. But that is going to be it for this video. Best base for quartz and... Run free and dive into the sky Hear the wind crying